Hello, my friends. Take and this is episode 37 of my Minecraft Extra 60 ending the End Dragon series. Where I'm going to be ending the End Dragon, and I'm actually quite close now. I'm uh, six Ender Pearls away, which means I have to kill six Endermen, obviously, um, which is very, very close in my opinion. Uh, I guess six Endermen is well, it's at least six Endermen because they don't always drop a uh, Ender Pearl. Um, I still think that's really close. Uh, we're we're halfway there, essentially. I know half of it was already done by the game. Uh, but that's incredibly good and stuff. Uh, but what I'm, I'm going to do, since we can't actually put them in just yet, uh, if you're watching this after Title Update 9's out, it's just a thing in Title Update 8. They made the end portals there, um, but they also made it so you can't go in them. Also, why can I not find the door? Um, but yeah, so also there's a gold all down here. So I want to also, I'm going to first of all uh, make a clear path from the start of the dungeon or stronghold to the end so I can easily get from one side to the other. Um, and I'm also going to explore all these little side caves. Well, they're not really caves, but little side. Oh, jeez. Okay, damn. <laughs> I love it when creepers take care of other mobs and don't even damage me in the process. Like it, it really is like using creeper as free TNT. Um, yeah, I don't know why I couldn't find my way into this little. Also, let's just get rid of this lion door. It's just getting in the way. Uh, so, whoa, oh, that was a silverfish. Now, I was wondering why it was taking so long. Um, bam, one hit, and all the XP for Toy Cat. Um, but is that okay? It's not selfish. So now we, that's an easy way in and out. We'll just quickly make it a little bit bigger so you can see it all. Uh, one of these will probably be a silverfish, knowing my luck. Um, but it's not, so that's good. Um, yeah, that's the. This is the way in and out now. And then I'll make a little cobblestone path that shows me the way from here to the way out. Uh, also, also there's this little. Whoa! What was that? What was that all about? That's just a random skeleton in the random corner of the room. Um, so I believe I could be wrong, but also why even open the door when you just go around it? Um, I think you have to go up here and then to the right, maybe. Uh, I don't. I, I, for some reason, I can't remember the pathway. Like I just sort of get there, uh, and then this is definitely not the right place. Or there's a zombie down there, uh, and then this. Oh, this is the right place. So this is the four torches, which means from here. No, this is the other stronghold. So from here, it's okay. It's here. So. We'll make a little cobblestone path that leads to here. Um, probably gonna have to, you know, kill a lot of silverfish in the process. Uh, and also, what I'm gonna do is um, just to make sure I don't waste the ender pearl in any way, since I'll feel so retarded if I do. Um, I'm gonna place a chest there, uh, and then put all my ender pearls in the chest. So until I can actually place them, which is after Title Update Nine comes out. Uh, so yeah, that's the ender dragon thing right there. Um, so, also, just uh, other words and stuff. Uh, I hear a zombie quite loudly, so let's probably just go check what that's all about. Actually, no, wait, we need to find a way back first, because I know I'm going to forget it if I don't go right now. Uh, so, I believe what the way it was, was from here, you jump out to up here. No, it wasn't that. Uh, it was this way, and then up a it. Oh, no, wait, round the corner. So, let's just quickly uh, mine that into the pathway. Um, I don't really need to do the cobblestone thing, it's just in case I forget again and... I know, I know what it is with, uh, because since you guys watching, oh, that was a silver fish, see, I, I knew it before I even mined it. Uh, so, the easiest way to check is just use your fist, and then if you can mine it, it's silver fish, so, uh, none of these are silver fish, so it's all cool. Um, and for some reason it takes longer to mine silver fish blocks with pickaxe than regular, which is quite interesting, to say the least. Uh, but yeah, so this is the cobblestone pathway that will just show me the way from the entrance into this place to the end, which is quite a cool, handy little feature for me, because I keep forgetting somehow. Um, and if I go like four episodes, then I'll, I'll completely forget. And it's nice to not have to completely forget. So I believe from here, this this isn't the way. I don't know why I'm going this way. But let's see what is this. Oh no, this is the way. And then from here to this room, and then to the left. Okay, so we'll start from here now. Um, so go to this. Go to this. This. We'll, we'll know it's a silverfish block just before we mine it. So not so cool. Oh, wow. Um, that's. <laughs> oh, that was convenient. Oh, that is that is definitely something down there. Is that a slime I see? No, it's a creeper. A creeper? A skeleton and another... What is that? Oh, there's two, two creepers, a skeleton and a zombie. That's going to go brilliant for you, I can guarantee. Um, we'll just keep on mining our way this way. For some reason, this there was literally one layer of stronghold between me and all these zombies and stuff. Not zombies, but uh, mobs. Uh, which is quite concerning because... I don't know, if I mine it by accident because it's a silverfish... Oh! That scared me. Um, the blocks just keep appearing and disappearing. It's like, whoa. Uh, so from here, it's then up. I don't know how I hint at that, since there's just iron slabs there. Uh, they're not actually iron slabs, but it calls. Oh, see, that's a silverfish block, so you, you just know. Um, 
So we just won't mine it. Actually, we'll mine it for this, though. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, we don't even have to. So that's done. Um, <laughs> and then from here, we should be able to just torch up the door to send uh, hint it's this way. Uh, we'll torch up the walls also. Um, this, was a, this is actually an easy way to do it, just torch up the entire route. Uh, I don't know why I didn't just do that the first time I was thinking of an idea. Uh, then from here to the left, maybe? Yeah, to the left. So... Uh, just quickly till you go back on the cobblestone trail and then bam you're there. So we'll also light up the area a bit more uh, Explore all these little side caves that are nearby just in case there is something really cool uh, I want to be aware of it because you know you can't be not aware of things and you <laughs> Funny how I say you can't be not aware and then that happens uh, But there's you, I think you can find enderpearls in these places uh, Which is obviously an incredibly good thing to have so I want to explore the whole thing and Make sure I'm not missing any enderpearls because oh this is the same place that I, I was in before uh, there's the thing again. Um, is this the same place that goes under the library? It is as well. So we'll just patch this up. Uh, since, you know, lots of mobs come down from down there. Then they get caught in the water. And it's just it's just not good for anyone. So we'll really patch that up. Um, also, I, I say it again. I say it a lot, but I'll say it again. Uh, the, the best way to get rid of liquids, in my opinion, is just using torches. Because it's just, it's just so easy. And torches are so disposable. It just uh, makes sense, in my opinion. I guess cobblestone is really disposable, um, but I don't really keep a stack of that out. And I, well, I, I have a stack of actually I do have a stack of that out. Never mind, my bad. I lied. Um, that's just effort, you know. And I don't really like effort. Also, gold ore. Uh, found quite a bit of it this episode. Uh, I can't remember why I needed gold ore. I guess I could use a power drill because I wanted to make a railway here. Uh, I don't know what my what, whether I want to do that just now or whether I want to keep focusing on Enderman or not. Uh, but what I could do instead is if I get enough gold, just make one golden apple, which would really help out the fight, I think. Um, since they're the only thing that actually heal health. Like, every, if, if you're wondering why they are so useful and cool and take so much resources, it's because they actually heal health. Everything else only heals hunger, so that's that's good. I guess you can actually make potions as well. In fact, I do need to make potions, so I will have to go to the nether to get some nether ones. Although the only problem with going to the nether is there's zero chance of finding enemies there, which I... And I need to find Enderman, as you might guess by the fact that I mention them every episode. Uh, I don't think I mentioned them that much last... No, I, d I definitely mentioned them last episode, never mind. But at some point, I'll stop mentioning them and people are like, Wow, Toyke, I didn't mention Enderman. It's as if he doesn't really need them or something. And I'll be like, no, that's the case. Oh, well, that's not the case, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's... How is there a zombie in the fountain? How did that happen? So I uh, so we'll just put some torches around here. Uh, there, I guess, in here, around, just, just put torches everywhere, like, I have enough torches to waste on silly endeavours like that. I uh, already checked that chest, so we just gotta try and find the places I haven't explored, um, which is somehow proving more difficult than I figured, uh, except we're going, okay, there we go, this is the place from last episode, it's just a single room, that's, that's really great, I'm glad they did that, so we'll just dig through here, um, like, I'm, I'm so glad this room exists, like, it's, Really is oh down here actually no wait not down there in here maybe no this leads up to I believe yep this place so the whole place actually does link up quite well like you can actually learn the layout and that might help you in some way maybe I want to say I don't know if that's true oh and then this is the main room again see everything does link up together it's quite cool it's I don't know if I actually just got a good stronghold spawn or if that's always the case but see I'm I'm just going down the same places again I'd get confused. So this same place has this chest, which has the food in it. So then you go this way. This time we're going to go this. This isn't actually leading anywhere. This is just leading down a cave. But we'll see what's over here. Uh, some lapis. That's always great. And then something interesting up there, maybe? Or just some gravel. Just a room of gravel. <laughs> that's really great. I'm, I'm really glad that exists. Um, <laughs> so then we'll get this lapis. Take this home with us, as well as the lovely XP bonus it has with it. Um... Again, lapis. You don't actually. I don't actually think lapis has any use. Like, you use it for blue wool, maybe. And even then, it's like uh, you don't. For light blue wool, you need something else. I think so. You know, lapis is somewhat useless. But on the other hand, it's uh, it's blue, and quite a few people like the color blue. I would go as far to say it's on my t list of favorite colors. Maybe, maybe even one of the favorite colors. So, you know, don't don't be insulting the blue, yo. Um, <laughs> as much sense as that makes. Um, so what I want to do is I want to place a lot of torches around the area. We're going to place one there as well, I guess. Um, as well as a torch down here, so we'll head down this place in here. Ooh, another chest. I think, no. Uh, also, I have boots, though, which is handy, because mine... Oh, mine are actually dead. How convenient. 
Uh, so we'll just put those on. Uh, should we put some stuff in the chest that we don't need? Because I don't really need cracked stone bricks or stone bricks or gravel. So now we've got more inventory space, which is great. Um, I think we're backtracking on ourselves. No, we're not. See, a whole other place to cave. No, we're not cave. Oh, jeez. Oh wait, let's just let's let's be careful about this one. We'll jolt two hit, bam. See, that's why I love sharpness free. Like, uh, just guarantees. Uh, apparently, even on uh, zombies and stuff. So, I think sharpness ball actually might be a hundred percent guarantee. Like, I think there's a chance you'll free hit a creeper. It's just really low, and uh, really low chances are good chances. So, that's all I know. One hit. Yay! Uh, I think that was one hit. I I hit twice, but I think the second time Jar proves it. Can't be 100% sure. Um, probably make some more torches. Ran out of sticks again, which means I have to go to the surface. Unfortunately, unless actually, wait, I've got 17 torches. That should be enough to keep me going uh, to the end of the dungeon. Except we've got more gold ore. See, so much gold, I just don't know what to do with it all. Um, but actually, I believe if I'm right, there's actually two types of gold apples. There's like uh, there's one type using gold ingots? Not ingots, uh, the things you get from uh, Nip Zombie Pigman, and then there's the other type which you get, uh, gold blocks, and then the second one does some, look at all this gold, seriously, I think, there's got to be a correlation between gold and strongholds, like, uh, I don't actually know if there is, but there, there, there's got to be some form of correlation, uh, I'm not necessarily saying causation, see, I'm, I'm using fancy science terms here, um, which actually come up in maps a lot, like, I, I don't know how that even makes sense, but it apparently does, um, yeah, we're just looking around this place, uh, finding the things that we like. You're finding the things that I like. That finding things. That's that should be enough for today. Uh, so we'll head down to here. See another just completely dark place. Which you know there could be a chest. Oh no, <laughs> never mind. I guess there isn't any chests over here. We'll just see if there's anything through this wall, just in case there is stone in the way of this and the next room. next room. Because you never know these days. There could be anything. I mean, apparently not, but there could have been something there, and that's that's all that really counts, like in my opinion. And again, same thing. <laughs> Why even have a four-way? It's five-way room, and none of the places lead anywhere. Uh, actually, I don't think I checked down here. Actually, I must have because it's a torch. Well, unless that's a. Oh, yep, it's definitely. Oh, a new chest with. This is the one I've already been in. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, why does it have these things? And then I realised, oh, that's the things I put in the chest. That means this is the same chest I've already been to. That's really great. Um, again, just the floating door. I, I don't even know how they even... Wait, what, what, what hit me? Must be the skeleton. But where is the skeleton that's hitting me? I cannot see it. Where is the skeleton that's hitting me? Must be down here somewhere. Oh, there, there we go. Yep, there's two skeletons, so that's great. Um, one, two. One, two. And then go to the zombie. Oh, and apparently it's quite a thing to So it gets the quad feed in Minecraft and just crowd roars, crowd roars. I'm assuming you guys are roaring right now. I don't know why it's called the crowd roaring because I don't think you actually... I don't think laugh, not the clapping, is actually the same sound as roaring. But apparently some people do, so I'm not going to judge them too hard. Uh, we actually need to head out now because uh, I haven't got enough torches to fully explore this place. Uh, it's apparently going to take a couple episodes, which is quite insane. Since I thought it was just one little just tiny circular room, and then I keep backtracking on myself. Uh, it's it's awful, isn't it? I mean, uh, the pain of being toy cat. You have to backtrack and stuff sometimes. Uh, so we'll just do that. That completely blocks off the way in and out, but whatever. Um, definitely not going down there because it's not lit up. So we should be able to follow the torches back home. Again, I'm itching my eye, so my uh, mic might be... You might be hearing some of that. Um... It was something I had a conversation with uh, someone at college the other day with, and I didn't know it was uh, if it was like genuine or not. Uh, the way I knew it was genuine, but I, I don't know if some people actually didn't know or if it's actually a thing that differs from person to person. Uh, but some, when you get a head rush, you know, when you like stand up really fast. Is this the right library or the wrong library? This is the right library. Um, when you get like a head rush because you stand up fast, or because I don't know what the proper reason is, but I get it when I rub my eye as well. Like, um, is is that like different from person to person? Because, like, I asked some of my friends, and some of them said white, some of them said black, and then some of them just had no idea what I was talking about. Uh, so I thought, I, thought, I thought that was interesting. Maybe you guys who know about head rushes, maybe... I don't think I have scientists following me, but maybe... I, I don't know what profession you need to be to know about head rushes, but if you're a doctor, I guess, maybe, um, you could let me know if that's a real thing. Well, I know it's a real thing, but... 
uh, just just let me know about that because I have no idea myself, and I uh, could Google it, but I don't know if it's actually called a head rush. So um, I'm actually really strange about Googling. Like I'll only Google things if I like. I know I know there's someone track. Well, my ISP is technically tracking my internet. I know there's always going to be some degree of tracking on my internet. Um, and I know when someone sees like uh, someone Google search stuff, like I don't know. Uh, when, like when people Google search um, YouTube, I'm like, wow, you are just the worst human being. Um, it's that sort of thing. I just don't want it in my ISP's history of me. Um, <laughs> just in case I ever go to like you know prison for or like you know get put on trial for I I don't know something awful, and then be like, wow, this guy's never Google searched YouTube. We should let him off. I'm pretty sure that's how trials work. Like uh, I'm not a lawyer, but you know I sh I should be really. Um, I think I'm quite close to home now. I recognise this pool of water. Uh, I think I went too fast to the right though, so maybe go a bit more this way. Uh, I definitely need to make a high-speed rail system of some form to get there, so I actually might work on that this episode. Um, who knows what I'll do, because uh, I, I don't know, that's for sure. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this episode as I get back to my house. Uh, I'm going to sort out my inventory, then maybe do some more enderman hunting, because as I said, I need six enderpearls and then I'm done. Uh, or I could spend some time in the XP farm so I can get the exact sword I need. Or I could spend some time in the mines so I can get the uh, you know the diamonds I need to actually charm enough swords to do what I need. Uh, who knows what I'll do? I, I don't know yet. So hopefully you don't know, unless you're a psychic, in which case, whoa, you know, you know what's happening in the future. Whoa. That's... That was way too stoned. Um, for the record, I, I want to quickly clear this one up as well. Like, um, some people are like, because uh, I said in one of my videos I have a hangover, but not really a hangover. Uh, someone, some people took that to assume they had done copious amounts of uh, cannabis, marijuana, or whatever you call it in your country, and uh, that's not actually the case. Like, um, I don't disapprove of it, but it's, like I don't do it myself just because I don't really. No, I don't even dis. I don't like disapprove in the slightest. It's just like I don't really want to do it. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, apparently I did this wrong. Yeah, I, I must have started over here, which means that we should end up with a full house over here. Yeah, I, I don't partake in such things. Not by disapprove if you do. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, I really believe in the legalization of it, even though I don't intend. Well, I, I, I don't know how to say this without sounding bad, but I, I have done it, and I just don't really want to anymore for various reasons. Um, which I so yeah, it's it's one of those interesting things where I actually I just know what I'm saying. I I really don't know what I'm saying. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and also this is why I like a stronghold. The button next to the door, and goodbye.